Supreme Family Garden here guys and today we are going to talk about blueberry plants. Now those who have been follow following me, I'm an honest guy. I don't try and sell no products for nobody. I just want you guys to know the truth, okay? And again, I am a novice gardener. I'm trying my best showing you guys what works for me. Today we're going to talk about blueberry plants. Now watch this. Now you all know I have four acres here. It's very expensive to maintain this if I had to buy uh, especially um, organic fertilizers, okay? So anyway, um, one of my friends, they called me from the market and they gave me some stuff. Now I go up here probably like two or three times a week, all right? And I get things that aren't any good anymore so I can um, make my compost, all right? Now what we have here guys, some eggshells, and this is um, squash. squash and tilapia, or okay? Zucchini. Or zucchini, one or the other. And um, also carrots, okay? Also some crab legs. Now with the crab legs, I'm gonna save these, put them in my trap, and try and catch me something else with these babies. But anyway, follow me guys, I'm going to show you my blueberry plants. Now, anyway guys, um, well, with the soil pH being what well, I think it's around 5.5 or 6%. What I've learned guys, if your soil is good, there's a lot of things that people try to actually um, sell you that really isn't... Um, it really isn't needed, okay? Number one, I'm gonna show you guys something, okay? And again, these, my plants aren't in pots because if you all think about it, if you go to the store, you can buy blueberry, blackberry, whatever plant it is. Nine out of 10, depending on the year, it's gonna have fruit on it, okay? And we all see those little green, blue, purple pebbles. That's not organic, okay? So let's think about it for a second. How do you cipher all of that out of that pot to turn it now organic? What has grown the fruit so far has been a synthetic fertilizer, okay? We all know that, all right? Now watch this. All right? This here, guys, and again, with blueberries, you are gonna need a cross-pollinator, which in this area here, I'm sure 60% of them are the same. Um, I have a tag left on one of these varieties, and I'm gonna read it to you guys. This one here. And guys, if you can see how old and faded out my tag is, they've been back here for some years, okay? And this one here is a blueberry Vicinium SP. Vicinio. I guess that's in Spanish. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is actually the soil, okay? So that way, we all know what's the truth on these YouTube videos and a lie, okay? Because here on my channel, guys, I'm going to tell you the truth good bad ugly no in between i'm gonna tell you the truth okay i'm not looking for a million subscribers i love talking to all of you guys i think this is fun it's a hobby for me okay but do i love to eat this yes i do all right am i looking for self-sustainability yes i am without a doubt but again i work four days a week i have to go to the supermarket sometimes just like most of you guys do okay all right now watch this this is what I have here, guys. Pine needles. This is my soil. A nice, loose, loamy. These are all pine needles from years of decomposition, okay? This is all I put here in coffee grounds, all right? There's no pebbles whatsoever here. Here's some eggshells. Tons of coffee grounds, all right? And what I do is I take my shovel, just like this. I'm going to show you guys this trick. I've been meaning to do it, but I haven't had a chance. But today, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take one of these fish. Damn, they made this bag good. And now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open this baby up, still cold. Boy, this thing is hard. Dang. 
<laughs> They're over there. It's okay. All right, now I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this fish head. I'm going to throw it in here, okay? Pour out what's left in the bag. And then I'm going to cover it up. Now up front I have a bag of coffee grounds that I'm going to pour right across the top of this to detour any animals from coming back and um, digging this up. Okay. Now I'm going to open another bag. We're going to pause for a second. I'm going to get my snips. This is too much. All right, guys. Now what I'm going to do here, if you look, these are actually blackberry plants, okay? You got one here, one here, 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 and here, okay? How these actually emerge, guys, is just from compost. One day I had some blackberries, and I kind of threw some of them over here, and they're growing. So what I have is a little blueberry island with blackberries on the outside, okay? Kind of keep it all contained in one little area. You know, I'll try and keep it pruned, so that way it'll look nice. And again, if you guys notice, these trees are loaded with blueberries, okay? There's even bees out here doing the work. All right. And guys, I've been doing the same method no EB stone or none of that stuff. Not that I wouldn't love to use it. Can't afford it, okay? And so far, guys, this works for me. All right? And again, it's not in a pot to where half the work the uh, growers have already done it for you. Then, you know, they get on here and then they make a video like they've really grown the plant. You know, just, I, I would respect people better if they got on here and told the truth. You know, because me, again, I used to listen to them. I'm running out spending $100 buying um, different types of fertilizers. And then, you know, that's what actually detours people from wanting to garden. Because if you got to go to the big box stores or wherever you may get your fertilizer from, and you spent $80 in fertilizer for two, three plants to get a half a pound of fruit, that doesn't make any sense. Not to me, it doesn't. Okay, so I go the cheap, frugal way. All right, and again, I'm going to take this, put it right here. Cover this baby up. And what I do is I put it all around here, probably like two or three times a year. Coffee grounds, eggshells, guys, compost once or twice a year. And guys, look. All right. I'm going to plant this other one. Now I want you guys to look at this, okay? Look at this soil. All right. Now this didn't cost me a dime, all right? Guys, just get you some leaf mold, some mulch, eggshells, coffee grounds, any type of compost, and grow your your um, and grow your plants. You don't you don't need all of that very expensive stuff. Does it work? Probably sure it does. But at the end of the day, 75 to 85 percent of that stuff is not organic. It's almost impossible to actually make something that's that pure. You know, it it would be too expensive for us to actually purchase if you guys really think about it. Okay. I mean, it has to be infused with something to have a shelf life, something, some type of coating, something that's not real, okay? And again, these are just some fresh eggshells. I'm gonna put down in the hole right with this baby. No science, no measuring. All of that stuff is all garbage. The plant's gonna eat what it needs anyway, all right? And um, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna take you guys along. You know where I put that other one? Mm -hmm. It's gonna sink back here. And I'm gonna show you some other ones. All right, now what I would do normally, but I just put a lot of compost in here, is I would take all of this stuff and put it in here as well. But I know these trees are okay. I just added the fish. So that way it'll help feed the plants while they're uh, go through the growing season. All right, guys, now follow me to our other blueberry orchard. All right, guys, now we're over here on the other side, okay? Now this is where my kumquats are, all right? Now inside of here, all right, if you can even look right here, 
This was something I did like a little chop and drop on because the weed was so thick and I thought about morning garden. I'm like, let me put a few of them out here just to break down. But anyway, look at these blueberries, guys. It's almost more blueberries than they're all leaves, okay? No fancy um, fertilizers or anything like that. Fishy motion or fish, whichever you can come by and compost, guys. Epsom salt, coffee grounds, eggshells, just your tip, typical um, household things, guys. There's nothing um, spectacular that you guys would need. There was a squirrel just jumping on, 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 uh, on the orange tree. All right, let me show you some more here. Let me walk around. And again, I want you to think these are actually the shorter variety of um, blueberries. And if you notice, rabbits love these, okay? This is the only tree that we have on the property, okay, that has no leaves. And actually, I think something actually happened to this tree. I'm not sure what. But um, you notice the rabbits haven't even been touching it. So that in itself shows me out here, guys that when I spray my coffee ground and things like that, it's detouring a lot of these animals from bothering with it, okay? Because we have wild hogs, a lot of different things up here. All right, now follow me on this side, guys. I mean, look at this. This is one blueberry tree, guys. And look at the, it's probably at least 100 blueberries on one plant. And again, I'm going to show you, pull that weed. Oh, this is actually, guys, look at this. This is actually an oak tree. Now, if you look here, you see how the mycorrhizal fungi actually connected itself to the seed of this plant. Okay, and look at that, baby oak tree. Look at that. That's the, that's the horse right there that's making all of this stuff grow. This is proof of why we don't need to spend that type of money purchasing things when we can make our own soil. Okay. Don't make those guys rich when you have, we all have children and other things we can do buying fertilizers because we're that lazy and we're listening to some nincompoop on the internet who's trying to promote different uh, fertilizers and things like that when we can actually do it ourselves. I mean, guys, here, I'm going to show you again. This is the soil. Look, you know, I, you, you can't buy this type of stuff, guys. This is things that, you know, we have to make it ourselves. All right. Because you got to think about it, E.B. Stone, a lot of these companies, you know, we're, we're, we're paying for their kids' college tuitions and things like this. So I'm not saying that, that those products don't work. Again, I can't afford them. If you guys want to send me some, I'll definitely try it out. But again, this works for me, guys. Now watch here. And like I told you guys before with the uh, collard greens, how I use the coffee grounds very, very heavily. And in all of my islands, I keep a spotlight just to detour the animals because they don't want to be seen at night. Could be a reason why they're not eating these black these blueberries. See spotlight? More blueberries, guys. Okay. Leaves, leaf mold, mulch, coffee grounds, eggshells. I use malorganite on the grass, and I actually I found out from one of my friends on uh, YouTube that it's not a hundred percent uh organic, it's now slow release nitrogen. But you know what? The bang for the buck, I mean. We got to do something somewhere because I do like my lawn to be green sometimes, okay? All right, now, guys, follow me over here. Also, guys, we're just showing you some of our kumquats while we're doing this here, okay? Now, I just walked on the other side of the property. Now, guys, look at this. This is the first year our Santa Rosa plum tree is looking like this. Almost looks like cotton. All right, guys, now my wife doesn't know what I'm about to do, so this is going to be funny. Now, honey, show me the, show, bring the camera on me. <laughs> now, guys, I was over here working, right? Look at what the hell Ooh, I found. That's a fake snake skin. It's a snake skin, guys. Look at this. 
this is what I tell you, man, when you guys start moving out on homesteads and out in the, in the, in the country, <laughs> as some people so eloquently call it, you find things like this, man. Like this is, look at that. Now my wife's back there looking at me like she wants to run. Yeah. Yaka, yaka, yaka. Now look at this. Let's see how tall this baby is. Look at that, guys. Now imagine had my kid been out while this thing was getting him a new dress or a new coat, pants, whatever he was doing. Son would have passed out. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching Supreme Family Garden. Better yards and better gardens. God bless you all. I'm gonna throw this thing away. Maybe I should let the baby see it.